Martial arts is a wonderful way of finding focus. In martial arts, I really learned a whole nother level of self-awareness. I started as a curiosity, became a part of my life. I think of myself as a martial artist. I think of everything in terms of the lesson that I've learned from martial arts. So it's about learning and it's about discipline and training and self-development. Also, lifelong endeavor. In the martial arts program, you're really pushed and challenged to, to see and explore what your limits are. In our culture, we talk about you have to know your limitations. In the Korean culture, it's about you have to exceed your limitations. A lot of what people define as the truth depends on what they can imagine. Pushing those limits helps redefine what you can imagine. It's open to everyone, not just top athletes. So anybody can benefit from it. So I was looking when I got into college for a way to keep up my physical fitness. I always had an interest in martial arts and then it just sort of felt right. The martial arts program fits in the university setting almost ideally, perhaps better than other sports, because it's not just sport. I think one of the main things that the system of martial arts does is help keep you learning. It helps you learn how to learn. Berkeley is known as a very diverse, very unique place, and I think the same can be said about the martial arts program, because a lot of colleges, they don't have the, um, the benefit of having such a long established program. I know about Dr. Min coming here and starting this program, challenging all the wrestlers to gain a foothold on their mat and defeating every one of them. Our program, we have uh, six different martial arts. Judo, Karate from Japan, Ushu, Tai Chi from China, Taekwondo, Yongmudo from Korea. Uh, it's definitely a benefit. There's always crossover. Say you were doing Taekwondo and you wanted to learn how to fall and how to do throws, there's gonna be a lot of people around who can teach you that. Approximately our club members are about 550 to 600 members for each semester. Ever since Marshall's program was founded in 1969, we estimate about uh, 100,000 members. We've had people go to the Olympics. Cal has won the Collegiate National Championship far more times than any other program anywhere. The first World University Championship started from our own campus in 1986. We host the seventh World University Championship in 2002. We have a total of 35 National Collegiate Taekwondo Championships. But the goal is not to create elite martial artists. The goal is to cater to students who are interested in martial arts. It also, we also remember that the people who are here are primarily academics. So we cater for that broad range of interests. What we wanted is uh, develop a young generation, healthy body, mind, and successful future leader. Leadership experience is very valuable in being able to manage the professional relationships and in education, the student-teacher relationships that are necessary to succeed. Ours is the genuine objective, teach through martial art for them to be successful in their own children field. We would like to have more people experience uh, martial art as an education and provide more opportunity to learn the different culture as well as uh, philosophy. This is kind of the mecca for Taekwondo and martial arts in the United States. I don't think of it as changing my life anymore. That it, it is, that is my life. This lifelong connection between mind and body, healthy mind and healthy body, is an absolute must. I believed in that strongly. That's why I spend my life for the educating young people. There's so much more to learn, you know. There's always a reason to come back. <laughs>